I ask the question a lot. Why should we save it? Wildlife. What does it matter if a chickadee flies or dies? A flower blooms or wilts? All I know is that our future is grim without them. But there is still hope. We can serve what we love, we love what we understand, we understand what we are taught. It was nice to always get out of the suburbs and into the woods, uh, and then move from that into Boy Scouts, and that's what really started my interest in more the conservation side of things and preserving the, thing, the great outdoors that we do have. And then from there I moved into a technical program in environmental science, and that's when I really got into the science involved in wildlife. I went back to the zoo and worked at the zoo, a uh, full-time permanent, and then realized I really wanted to work with animals in their natural habitat. I wanted to see animals behaving naturally, and I wanted to protect animals um, out in the wild. I didn't start hunting and fishing when I was little. It's just that I was always playing outside, and nature was my toy. Okay, so you'd be able to see the emergent uh, aquatic vegetation. Yeah, it's not crappy cat. Coming yeah, out, the theoretically. The so, so you would not classify the shrubbery as aquatic emergent vegetation? No, no. Uh, I figured that if I'm going to go study forest ecosystems, it should probably be in a six million acre state park. All Smiths have that aura of wild. Paul Smiths College provides a really intimate education for their students. They're surprised to hear students say, oh, we've read about that. And our students say, oh, we've actually done that. The faculty are so passionate. They have been in the proverbial ditches of wildlife conservation and management. We are a small school that you have full professors teaching your classes, full professors who know you as individuals. Today we know it's not just the most immediate stakeholders, but really it's all citizens that need to protect our natural resources. So I see the fish and wildlife field becoming even broader in the future. I don't know exactly what that means, but I do think it will continue to become broader, more inclusive, um, and continue to make sure that we protect our natural resources for the time to come. All things in nature are connected. Um, we are dependent, our livelihood is dependent upon the resources that we have in nature and the wildlife depend on that. So if we're adequately protecting them, then we should see that translate into sustainable wildlife populations. Tongue's going. Oh, Whoa. beautiful strike. <laughs> we're a part of this earth, and they are too. So I think that in order for us to coincide, which is what we should be doing, and not trying to destroy what they have or what we have. I believe that we should start taking measures to really, since we can't bring back what we've already lost, think that we should at least try to protect what we still have because there's really not much left and there's not much time. That's why we should care. We should care because there isn't time. <laughs> Too perfect. <laughs>
Uh oh. Why is he stripped? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're videotaping? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that. I thought you were Here we have <laughs> the wild I'm in on him. Watch yeah. as he there. makes a complete fool of himself. <laughs> this has to go into the promotional video. <laughs> no one will want to come if there's a weirdo. <laughs> On the other one on this side, it was missing half the book. Come on, everybody's a little weird here. Uh, yeah, that's true.